what is good with you guys. Today we will travel back in time, specifically we will travel into your memories. If you were to guess, when do you think your first memory is from? Maybe 4 or 5 years of age, right? No, we would have to travel way back in time, to the age of when you were only 4 months old. This is when your first memory started forming. To all of us, our memories are true. We might forget things and we don't remember everything, but that's okay, because the things we remember is 100% correct, right? Not really. And in fact, the more you think about a memory, the more it changes. Take any given day that you spent with someone, without discussing the details with them. Have them and yourself write down the details about that day and present it afterwards to each other. Your stories will not be the same. That sounds crazy, right? You both were there at the exact same moment, same place and same time. So why would your stories not line up? The answer is interesting, but also a bit chilling. Every time you remember a situation, you will change it. So how would you know what's real and what's not? The scary part is, you don't. Your friend will believe his or hers memory to be true, but so will you. Now you know that none of you are correct. Memory is something we all have and all use, but I will show you that there are sides to your memories that you never known about before. There are three main types of memory. The first one is called sensory memory, which is the shortest form of memory. It will only last you as short as 200 to 500 milliseconds. The second one will be short term memory. This type of memory is suggested to store between 5 to 9 things at a time and anything stored here needs to be rehearsed to be able to remember other than just a few seconds. Distraction and time will also cause memory loss really quick. The third one is long term memory. If you can remember anything that happened more than a few minutes ago, then that is now placed into your long term memory. There is debates regarding how much storage we actually have in our minds. Most neuroscientists tend to estimate somewhere between 10 to 100 terabytes. 8 years ago I learned how to solve the Rubik's Cube. If you asked me today how to do it, I simply couldn't give you an answer. Why? I would tell you that I can show you instead. You see, this is known as muscle memory. I repeated the moments so many times that my hands and my mind remember how to move my fingers in what situation. But I cannot remember the algorithms without the Rubik cube in front of me. There are a lot of ways to remember certain things for certain situations. One trick that I've used a lot is rhyming. And I'm not talking about a rap career here, that's not me. For example, let's say that you want to remember 5 things. Then the rhyme would go like this on a list. 1. Van. 2. Shoe. 3. Tree. 4. Door. 5. Hive. So let's say that first thing is milk that you want to remember. Then imagine dipping a bun into a glass of milk. Now the one will get you to bun and the bun will get you to milk. Same goes on with everything you want to learn if you learn this first. You can add more to it and you will be able to put anything into these slots and also be able to change it. This can be used for school as well as shopping trips or basically anything. Another thing you can try that is powerful is called a memory palace. Imagine a place that you are really familiar with, your house for instance. In your mind now make a route of the house, through the door to the bathroom, observe what's in there and then make it to the kitchen, then to the living room and so on. Make sure you got your route down, then you take what you want to remember and in your mind put them at different places, a note on a mirror, an apple on a desk or anything you'd like. When you then take that same imaginary route again, you'll remember everything. Make sure to leave a like and press that subscribe button so I can continue sharing what I love with you. Tell me in the comment section below what you want to explore next time. Thanks for watching and see you soon.